the Dugong's Ocean Shark Bay in Western Australia. Shark Bay in Western Australia owes its name to the number of sharks in the area. Flocks of seabirds take to the air. The water here is shallow, mostly less than 10 meters deep. It's warm and nurtures a wide variety of fish species. Even whales and dolphins visit here. The bay is home to the world's largest dugong population. Some 10,000 dugongs live here. That's one in eight of the entire dugong population worldwide. They live exclusively on seaweed and have to eat around 50 kilograms of it each day to sustain their huge body weight of around 400 kilograms. Hardly any other sea mammals eat only seaweed. Interestingly, dugongs are believed to have the same evolutionary origin as elephants. Some 50 million years ago, they were herbivorous land mammals. The dugongs live here because of the warm sea temperature. This manta ray is also a warm sea creature. Even in winter, the water temperature remains over 20 degrees Celsius due to the warm current flowing in from the Indian Ocean. This loggerhead turtle is only found in warm seas. Another reason Shark Bay has so many dugongs is the harsh dry conditions on land. Only creatures that can adapt to arid desert conditions are able to live here. Humans can't survive in such an inhospitable environment. Dugongs used to be hunted for their meat and oil, but with the human threat absent, wildlife has been able to live in safety. This stromatolite is another important part of the local ecology. It looks like rock, but is actually seaweed. These early plant forms first appeared on Earth about three and a half billion years ago, and through photosynthesis, released oxygen into the atmosphere. They're mostly found in fossil form today, but can still be found alive in Shark Bay. A family of dugongs. It seems the baby dugong is looking for breast milk. The dugong's breast is situated at the base of the forelimb. Part of the baby dugong's tail seems to have been bitten off, probably by sharks. Much about dugongs remains unknown. They've long been mistaken for mermaids. Their habits continue to mystify us.